Okay, good morning. I'm down the pot. I haven't been down here probably at least two or three weeks. I've been concentrating on stuff at home. And as you know, I'm sight back. Well, I've come down. I can see one bed's turned over at the end. But apart from that, I see no difference. No, no, I think that extra bit of digging was done last time. I see no difference. Nobody else has come down. Mm, maybe the guy on the end has strimmed. And the guy the family that have taken on another plot have stood around where the old beds were. That's it. The guy that's taken on the worst plot doesn't look like there's any work down to it. I'll go up the other end and have a look. But uh, that's a shame. I think under my role as site rep I'm going to have to not send some letters, but maybe do a general text out to people going, hey, come on, get on with it. You know. No, I'm not seeing any difference up there. And I have to encourage them. Well, I'm happy to report that my peas that are down here have survived. They're not like majorly tall, but they survived. Which is good. Unfortunately, vine weed, all the weeds have gone a bit crazy. I mean, I know I've got a lot of stuff covered with covers and black plastic, but I've got some work to do. Haven't we all? Well, anything at the strawberry bed? Look. Looking quite good, apart from a few weeds on the edge. But bindweed, that's started to wrap itself around things. Ugh. These current bushes, look at them. All the foliage has come out, that's quite dense. Yep, yeah, and these are the gooseberries. So look at the flower bed. It's back to looking absolutely stuck. Even if I wanted to fit more in there, it would be hard to couple of things that need thinning out or pulling out, but they're looking good. So I have to get a lot done today. I, there was no way I could get everything done. I need to, the new brassica bed, I need to move um, some membrane over and start planting out in the new um, brassica tent. I think I need to pull up the membrane that's there because that's the right spacing for my squash beds. Um, but it's whether I can move the membrane that's in the current brassica tent. So those I definitely need to get out. And I've got some peas that are desperate to be planted out. These are my two must do things. Then if I've got time, I will um, sow some carrots. Of course, there's weed that needs to be done. I've bought the strimmer, but uh, I'll probably only be able to get a part of one plant done for that. I'm away next week. The weather doesn't look great, um, but it means, yeah, of course I can't play catch up on here. But, that's life. So I worked out it's been three weeks since I've been down here. Oops. Oh well, time to crack on. So I'm going to attempt to swim along here again. I think I'm going to start at the far end and work my way this way because the first third is what I did last time. 
and the battery didn't last too long, so I'm not holding out too much hope. That's if I can get to the other end with the overgrowth. I got most of that side done. I shot the far end, got about probably three quarters of the way. So it doesn't look too bad. But of course the batteries run out so I can't do the other side. On to probably sorting out the brassica cage. Well I guess you could say I found evidence of foxes on the plot. Well that's what I'm guessing. Let me show you. Yes. Partly chewed bone. I guess I thought it was a good place to uh, leave it. I'm certainly not growing bones on the plot. So I know I'm supposed to be doing the brassicas, but I've got sidetracked. Up in the communal compost heaps, that stuff's been mostly cleared, but in one bay there's still some. And um, have a look at it. It looks a lot nicer than this dry soil on here. So I'm going to sieve it because I don't know what rubbish might be in it. And then I'll put a dressing on top of this bed. Okay, I've done half the bed. I'm not going to film the other half. But when you're going through the um, compost, you don't expect expect to find a lovely seashell like this. And then look at this side. It's all iridescent. It's lovely. I think that's going in the shed. So, yeah, I'm going to get that other side of that bed done. Then I'll do the brassica bridge. So I'm in the brassica tent. I need to fill up these weeds, pull up this membrane, and then I guess I need to see if I've got any more black membrane. Or I might have to nick it from another bed. One bit at a time. Yeah, not too many weeds, just a bit of bindweed around the edge. Sorry. Right. right, time to crack on. I'd better show you why this is taking a lot longer than I thought. We've got to bear in mind these two, what will be brassica beds, used to be squash beds and they've been covered for maybe two, three years. They haven't been dug. They've been covered with the woven fabric that was last year. And before that they had a bit of black plastic, but let me show you. This is what I've dug so far. And that is the bind reed. I'm ha despite brassicas are going in here, I'm having to dig it just to get out as much bindweed as I can. Hopefully this means when I put the fabric back down, it'll be a lot more under control and I'm less likely to have to do this again. I probably will in a few years time, but uh, it should make things a bit easier in the long term. I'm feeling defeated. My back and hips hurt too much. I'm not going to force myself to do the rest of the bed. So the brassicas are not going to go in. I'm just going to have to try and put them in a place where I hope they won't get mullered by slugs. Let me show you. The binary so far and I've only done half the bed. 
so I need to dig out the rest of the bed another time then move weed suppressant fabric and burn things on the plus side I have found some lovely worms while I was digging I don't like to dig but every now and then it needs it with bindweed so what I am going to try and put in is the peas um, some that I'm not sure quite what right it is, I'm going to put them by this little bit. The other two says it's Monge 2, by the other side. So, i got to work out where to shove them as a temporary thing. I might put them up in the third bed. Let's crack on. Okay, so I may have failed in getting in what I wanted. So I've made a start. We've got that stuff to go over in the new Brassica tent. I've got the Brassicas here. They're covered over. And I think with the weather that we're due, they should be fine. They shouldn't dry out too much. Because this, you know, getting used to the new compost. It holds the water more. So I think they should be okay. That bed looks ready to go. I've cut back around the arch just so I can get in without brushing against branches. And I've strimmed along the side. I've got the peas in, which were the desperate, desperate thing to do. So uh, let's just hope these brassicas survive until they get back. They've got to survive on their own for a week. Oh, wicked a bit. Oh, yeah. Time will tell. Well, I think that'll have to do. I'm off home now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.